Hey guys, it's BB202, and today I have a bit of a mini rant for you. This is a personal pet peeve of mine. Over the last decade or so, we've had a lot of innovation in LEGO when it comes to minifigure accessories. This sounds like a great thing. We've gotten pieces that I never thought they'd make. And we've gotten great castle-related accessories as well, particularly weapons. The problem is, in the recent castle sets they've made in the last four or five years, it just hasn't translated, and we're still stuck with a lot of the same old weapons that we've had for decades at this point. Good example of that is the new sword that was introduced in the blacksmith shop. I think that's a step in the right direction, but then last year, we randomly downgraded to the old flimsy crappy sword that appeared in the Castle 2013 sets. So today we'll make this easy for LEGO, and we'll look at some weapons that they already have introduced that should be introduced in future castle sets. After the video, go in the comments below and let me know what your ideas are for weapons LEGO's already made that they should put in future sets, or weapons LEGO hasn't made yet that should be in future sets, and I'll be sure to respond. Let's get into it. The first one on the list is probably the biggest offender in my opinion, and that's the spear with a rubber tip. Because this one's been around for a while. It was introduced with the Tribal Chief figure in Collectible Minifigure Series 3 in 2011, over a decade ago. Since then, it's appeared with the Series 6 CMF Roman Soldier, a few Lord of the Rings sets, and even some Ninjago movie sets, but it hasn't been seen since the Viking figure in 2020. I assume LEGO still has this piece floating around unless they've destroyed the mold for it. There's really no reason why they should have. It's such a massive improvement over the all-metal spear that they've been using forever, which I think looks ridiculous. Can you imagine walking around with an all-metal spear? I can't. I actually think that the wooden spears, the completely wooden ones that LEGO made way back in the day, look better than what they have now. I just, I can't deal with that metal spear, man. It is my least favorite castle weapon. They wouldn't have to do much to put this in future sets. I don't think it's a very expensive mold. It showed up in quite a few sets already, and it would be an easy fix. I was hoping that we would get it in maybe the Creator Castle, certainly the Lion Knight's Castle from 2022 and just for some reason we didn't get it. Here's hoping in the future that's something that pops up. The second one is along the same vein, and that's the mace with a rubber tip. This one's a lot rarer. It was introduced with the Collectible Minifigure Series 15 Frightening Night in 2016. Since then, it's only appeared in one more set, a random Ninjago movie Collectible Minifigure in 2017. It just so happens I have both of those figures. I have like maybe 10 Ninjago figures, but that just happens to be one of them. Even still, it's massively underutilized. This is one of my favorite weapons that LEGO's made ever, and particularly among the ones they've made recently, because of how realistic it is. It just looks, it's a dead ringer. You compare it to art, medieval art that shows maces, they look exactly the same. Artifacts, preserved maces from hundreds of years ago, look the same as this mace LEGO's made. And also the detachable mace head allows for additional customization. You want to use the spiky end of it for a decoration of some kind, you have a different idea for it, go wild. There's a lot of potential with this one that LEGO's not taking advantage of right now. I could see this being used for an evil faction especially. You know, you could see some grunt walking around with a mace looking to bash somebody's head in. They'd look great with, you know, say the 2013 Dragon Knights. I think that's a good aesthetic. And I'd love to see it pop up again in the future. And the last one is one I've been waiting for for a long time. It's a longbow that actually fires arrows, which surprisingly enough, we first got in the Avatar 2 sets in 2022. We've had crossbows in the recent past that fire, so this is a continuation of that trend. But the thing that really wouldn't have translated from those crossbows to LEGO Castle is that they shot disc pieces just doesn't mirror real life. A crossbow shoot a bolt, you know, something that looks long and skinny. The disc looks a little bit silly. It worked in a theme like Nexo Knights, but I can't really see it translating to Castle. They might have to rework that a bit. This longbow looks great. They've already produced it in a color that would work in a medieval setting. I like the way the arrow piece looks. This would be a really easy change. I think the reason it hasn't showed up yet is because Maybe LEGO thought a set like the Lion Knight's Castle where it still had that old bow piece was something that really didn't need an action feature like that. You didn't see catapults mounted on the walls, for example. And they just decided to give it to more action-oriented themes like Avatar 
and this like friends summer camp set that's coming out in the summer as well as dreams it's in a new dream set so we're seeing this piece a little bit more often and maybe if lego reintroduces a playset based castle theme you could have this as an option for a bow that's going to do it for this video. As I said earlier, let me know in the comments below which weapons would you like to see LEGO put in the castle theme in the future. I will be responding to you and who knows, you could make it into a future video. Also, if you have an idea for a new weapon, go crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.